<clears throat> Ready to roll? Ready to roll. Hi, I'm Adam. I'm Ryan. And this is Two Neighbors. All right, so we're doing another reaction video today. Uh, today we are reacting to, um, is it Bert, uh, Bert Kreischer? Kreischer. Kreischer, we'll go with that. Uh, the Machine. The Machine. All right, so um, yeah, have you seen this one before? Nope, haven't seen it. All right, so let's, uh, let's check it out. When I was 22, I got involved with the Russian Mafia. Okay, no, Here's sure, how man. it happened. <laughs> it's interesting stand up. Yep. yep. Proudly wears the gut. I was Florida State. I was not a very good student. I was there uh, like seven years. I was there in most of the 90s. I, I was in college longer than grunge music was around. He was Ben Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is how bad of a student I was. One time, I signed up for a Russian class thinking it was Spanish, and it took three classes before I realized, I don't think this is Spanish. <laughs> so I got up to leave the teacher, who was hot. He definitely worked out. I'm kidding. I don't... It was a girl. It was a girl. And she was hot. She still is hot. She stopped me. She goes, don't go anywhere. I need 14 kids to teach this class. You're the 14th. I need to teach this class in order to get my master's. So, if you sit back down, you don't have to do anything all semester, and I'll just give you a C. I was like, uh, strong <laughs> boots, you bitches, I'm back. <laughs> so I took Russian one, two, three, and four, never learned a word. Think about what I'm saying. I took two years of a language, took four semesters of my college career, four, four semesters. Russian four was taught in Russian. <laughs> Do you have any idea what it's like to go to a class and sit there like an immigrant at the DMV all day? Like, <laughs> the end of Russian four, same teacher pulls me aside. She's like, "We're taking a trip to Russia. If you go, you'll get a minor." I was like, "Okay, hold on." <laughs> you know, I can't really speak read, write, or understand the language, right? <laughs> She's like, I'm fucking well aware of that. <laughs> you gotta remember, I was taking tests in a language with which I was unfamiliar with their alphabet. <laughs> Do you have any idea what it's like to take a test and make up hieroglyphics? <laughs> and the answer is star circle hashtag shoe. <laughs> She goes, it doesn't matter. We need kids to make this trip happen. And if you go with all the classes you've taken and the ones you will take, dude, you will get a minor. And I was like, oh, that's all you had to say. <laughs> Let's go to Russia and fuck some minors. <laughs> it's a different, it was different minor, obviously. Learned that the hard way. <laughs> so we went to Russia in 1995. This is when the mob ran everything, and they told us that our very first night. They sat the whole class down, they're like, listen, we have paid off the mafia to keep you safe. In exchange for our money, they give us two young gangsters. I'm in the room like, this trip just got fucking awesome. <laughs> the word for gangster in Russian is banditi. They go, these banditi are gonna live with us, they're gonna walk you to class, they're gonna walk you back from class, they're gonna take you on field trips, walk you back from field trips, do not speak to them, they're in the mafia. <clears throat> Do not look at them, do not engage them, do not interact with them. I was like, well, they're gonna be my best fucking friends. <laughs> so the first night I grab a bottle of vodka and a six pack of Baltica, which is our local beer, and I plan the sentence. I was gonna say, Strasvutsia, Menyasavut Bert, Ochimbriatna, Yarabota, you koshka. Uh, uh, uh. Does anyone speak Russian in here? I love that someone says no. No. <laughs> I did a head count earlier, it doesn't look like it. I'll tell you what the sentence says. It's a badass sentence. I worked all day on it. Hello, my name's Bert. It's very nice to meet you. I work pussy. <laughs> kind of. It really means I work with cats. I didn't know the fucking language. What do you expect? Uh, it doesn't matter because the second the door opens and I'm face to face with a real Russian gangster with the wife beater and the tattoos with the track pants and the cigarette. And he, he just stares me up and down. A frat boy from Florida State. I was wearing a fanny pack. <laughs> he just looks at me and goes, Stole. I fucking panicked. 
and everything I had planned on saying flooded out of my head. And all I said to him in Russian in his doorway was, I am the machine. <laughs> <laughs> and he started laughing. He goes, what did you say? I was like, I'm the machine. <laughs> he grabs me and he goes, come in and tell my friends. Brings me in a room full of nine Russian gangsters drinking and smoking and just goes, stop. <laughs> tell them what you said. Now I'm like, fuck it. I'm the machine! <laughs> they look at each other, looked at me, and they're like, fuck it! He's the machine! <laughs> and I became the machine, and these guys love me. Yes. The, you gotta realize, though, the reason they loved me is I went shot for shot with them that night, all night long, until like four in the morning. But all I knew how to say in their language was, I'm the machine! <laughs> and I fuck cats. <laughs> <laughs> so, we did everything together. We, uh, like the guy that answered the door, his name was Igor. He was like my best friend. We did everything together. We ran a pool hall scam. We stole a boat. <laughs> it was literally the best summer of my life. <laughs> And then one day, the whole class is taking a trip to Moscow. It's an overnight train trip. And I say to Igor, I go, this is going to be a blast. We've got to be in the same cabin. And he goes, I can't go. I said, why not? He goes, different mafia runs train, different mafia runs Moscow. I said, well, hold on. What's that mean for me? And he goes, don't worry. I set up banditi. I tell them about you. They'll take care of you. Sure enough, we get to the train station, and he introduces me to my two new gangsters, Igor and Igor. <laughs> And he says to me, he goes, guys, this is the machine. If you give the machine vodka, you'll have a great time. <laughs> the big ear, the two Igors, looks like a kid on Christmas. He's like, oh, I can't wait to play with a machine. <laughs> he grabs me, he goes, the machine doesn't sit in coach. The machine sits in first class with us. I'm like, that's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> we go to first class, and then it's pimped out with booze, food, and here's the real gangster part. Second, the train takes off out of the station. Everyone that works on the train comes in to pay their respects. The conductor walked in, rips off the stars and stripes to his shirt, places them on my lap, and goes, this is a present for the machine. <laughs> it would be an honor to do a shot of vodka with the machine. I'm 22 years old thinking, huh, these machine stories might have gotten out of control. <laughs> we drink all the booze in an hour, and Big Igor stands up, and he goes, machine, we go to the bar court to get more vodka. I'm like, fuck it, I'm the mob, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> we roll with the bar cart like a big dick in a locker room. Just, not that I've ever been that guy, but I've seen it. <laughs> Just smack. You know the look where everyone looks like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> oh, someone's here, okay, all right. <laughs> Igor looks at me, and in Russian he says, machine, go behind the bar and grab bread. In Russian, in Russian. And I understood him. <laughs> For a second, I'm like, I'm fucking learning. <laughs> I'm learning the language my way, not through flashcards and textbooks, but by joining the mafia. <laughs> I get behind the bar, I'm like, Igor, I know what you said. He's like, go for your machine. Can the machine find cheese? And I was like, see you, cheese, I got it. Give me another one. He's like, grab vodka. I was like, I already know that one. Give me another one. He's like, grab the money. I'm like, huh? He goes, grab the fucking money. And I realized at that instant, uh, we're robbing the bar cart. <laughs> and I'm the one doing it, hooked on phonics style. <laughs> I grab the money, walk out. Two of my classmates see me and they're like, you're in so much trouble. <laughs> Go back to our first class cabin within five minutes. The head chaperone of this train trip, not the whole trip, just this train trip. She was an English teacher who did not speak Russian, who hated me before I robbed the train. <laughs> she comes over to our first class cabin and swings the door open with that like liberal arts confidence. To... <laughs> this shit is over. You're done. You're done. Stand up right now. You you stand up. Stand how dare how you're done. Stand up! And Big Igor looks at me confused, then smiles, takes a big sip of vodka, spits it in her eyes, and goes, no one talks to the machine like that. <laughs> Shuts the door in her face, he goes, fuck that bitch, this is Russia. <laughs> huh. 
Don't worry, machine, when it gets dark, we have a good time. Like, what the fuck are we doing when it gets dark? <laughs> Reaches in his pocket, pulls out a ring of keys, and he goes, we're robbing the whole fucking train. <laughs> I'm a good person. I don't cheat. I don't cheat. This is why. I, let me tell you. I don't cheat on my wife. I don't cheat on my wife because one morning our whole family was in bed. The dogs, the cats, the girls, my wife, and we were just giggling, and it was pure. It was perfect. And I, don't, I thought to myself, I don't ever want to screw this up. This is the most important thing. This is what it's life's about. And they got up to make chocolate chip pancakes, and I laid in bed and I said, I will never cheat on my wife. I had a conversation with myself. I said, if I ever get into a situation where a hot girl's flirting with me, or I think she's flirting with me, and it seems like it could go further, I'm just gonna cock block myself. I'm just gonna look her in the face in front of everyone and go, I don't cheat on my wife! <laughs> now, I may be wrong. She may not be hitting on me. <laughs> she may throw a drink in my face, slap me, or I may be right. I, none of that matters to me. What matters to me is that I don't cheat on my wife because I've already had that conversation. Here's the problem. I never had that conversation about robbing trains. <laughs> so when presented the opportunity, I thought I'd be like, not me. I'm going to go back and work on my verbs. <laughs> but apparently, when presented the opportunity, I'm the guy that's like, fuck it. Let's start with my class. <laughs> so we robbed them first. While they slept, if that makes it better, and then we robbed the whole train. And if there's any consolation, we robbed me too. My bag was with them. <laughs> and then we drank all night long, all night long, like literally until six in the morning. Top five drunks I've ever been without throwing up in my entire life. We pull into Moscow at six a.m. I'm pissed drunk. You ever been so drunk you're like, I know I got a piss, but I can't find my dick. <laughs> train stops, sun's up, I'm hammered. Door opens, same teacher, not mad. Curious, right? <laughs> she looks me in the eyes, smiling, and goes, I want to be the one to tell you they've alerted the police. And I look out, and on the platform, my whole class is standing there with a cop, talking, they're upset, they've been robbed, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they've never heard snitches get stitches. <laughs> Big Igor sees this and it's completely unfazed. He's like, don't worry. I talked to police for both of us. I was like, oh, thank God. He cracks a bottle of vodka. I'm like, no, I wouldn't bring that out to an officer, maybe. <laughs> Lights a cigarette, walks out to the cop, who's taking a statement. The cop is taking a statement. Igor walks up behind him, grabs him by the arm, spins him around and goes, fuck you. <laughs> we fuck you in the mouth. <laughs> we fuck you in the ass. We, I'm like, stop with the fucking we shit! <laughs> now the cop is just staring at me and I hear him bark out, Pony Jones, good day, it's good day! Which, I don't even know what that means, but it doesn't sound like, you're okay, stay there! <laughs> it is a come to Jesus moment where you know you fucked up. All I thought as I walked to the cop, who's standing in front of the class, I just robbed. Next to the gangster, I robbed them with, my only thought was, this isn't how I plan on spending my second junior year. <laughs> And the gulag taking hot dicks to the throat. <laughs> I get five steps from the cop, who looks impatient as shit. He takes two big ass steps, grabs me by the arm, spins me away from my class, away from Igor, pulls me right into his face, and he goes, So, I understand you're the machine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, you party with us. I was like, what? He's like, Tonight, you party with us, yes? And I looked at him, and I was like, wait, I'm not in trouble? And he gets so close to me, I can smell his morning cigarette, and he goes, no. Fuck that bitch, this is Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was good. That was good. Yeah. He, he, interesting comic. I mean, I would say he's like my favorite. No, it, it's a good story. It, it is a good story. He, he is a good storyteller. Yeah. Um, I think I, I just like I, I like a lot of comedians who are like, I don't know, just talk about real life things. Like, because I feel like that's a made up story. Could be. Could be. Could yeah, be. I don't know. You know well, and that's the thing with comedy. I mean, you'll never know. You'll never know. This is not <laughs> Russia. Yeah. No, but, it was good. That was entertaining. Yeah, though. very entertaining yeah. indeed. So, well, uh, guys, if you have any more uh, suggestions, please leave some comments down below of uh, videos you want to see reactions for. Um, and please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Yeah. See you guys soon. Cheers. <laughs>